Picked up some of this half inch square tubing. Just made a little A frame kind of with these little gussets. It's pretty sturdy. And then I uh, took the original little piece on the steering. I still just got to tack to make sure everything's aligned properly. But, um, and then I got to put in the motor. Well, I first got to finish welding all this. I'm gonna, for the steering, I guess the guy that had it before me made these spindles. I'm going to put some better weld on them. But, um, basically, I'm going to put a pitman arm on here. And it's going to connect to one, either of the two. And then a cross piece is going to go over. So, do that. And then the rear axle, I'm going to put brakes on it too, so that's going to be a good thing. So here's a mock-up I got going on of this. Alright, now, I screwed up, I wasn't thinking. And didn't realize the pull start. Well, I did realize that the pull start stuck out further and it came in contact with this bar. So I cut it and welded this piece in. Hopefully, that's going to be strong enough. I might even put like a little bit of a bracing back here or something down here further. But, um,. gonna happen is it's got this cover on there I'm probably gonna put that on there but make this a little bit better and uh, a pulley to a bigger pulley back or uh, probably back here further and then that pulley is gonna run to a jack shaft so just get everything sitting on here back to this sprocket now what I'm hoping I can do is I can either push the belt up flip the sprocket around or whatever and I only have keyway until here so I'm gonna try and get it that way I don't have to cut a new keyway into it but um we'll see how that works out Here's what I got for the motor mounts. I'm going to drill the two front bolts and then I have this cross piece with this piece of flat stock on it and another piece of one inch square tubing welded on the back side under this. It's only about 16 inch thick but it's not very much of a motor and it's reinforced. I still got to cut this bolt off, cut these brackets off. I'm probably going to cut this along the edge on both sides just to make it look nice. But um, I'm going to end up putting Nerf bars on it or whatever you want to call them.